As the COVID-19 Delta variant surge is slowing down, global concern for the new Omicron variant is picking up. I don't think it does anybody any good to panic. I think it does everybody good to think. And think means vaccine, vaccine boosters, masking, social distancing, washing your hands. Those things work. Omicron has already been detected in more than a dozen countries, first identified in South Africa last week. Though it has not been reported in the U.S. yet, the Washington State Department of Health says its laboratories are prepared to test for it. Officials say Washington is one of the top states in the country for genotype sampling. We have not come across any genotypes that are the Omicron genotype at this point. We upload all of our uh, genotypes into a national database, and so we're quite aware of what Omicron is and where it is, um, but we have just not seen it here in Washington State. Health professionals with the Washington State Hospital Association say they're still learning about this new variant, but say it has potential to be highly transmissible. Health departments in these four counties share the latest numbers of booster shots or third doses of the vaccine. The Hospital Association CEO says a vaccine is still the best protection against any variant of coronavirus. If you're vaccinated, get a booster. If you have no vaccine, really get a vaccine. Like if that's that is that is key. I mean, that is the if you are unvaccinated now, you are at such risk. DOH says more than 74 percent of Washingtonians ages 12 and up are fully vaccinated. As more research develops about Omicron, Health professionals say everyone should continue the safety measures we've learned throughout the pandemic. I think that we handle Delta. We'll handle the next one that comes along. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News. The hospital association says there are still about 10 to 15 COVID-related deaths reported daily in Washington, and hospitalization numbers continue to go down. But health professionals are urging people to ramp up their safety measures once again to avoid overcrowding hospitals if this variant were to cause another surge.